Now, this workflow template is going to allow you to add a back order tagged uh, customer into Clavio. And the way that we're doing that is we're triggering on customer updated. And we've got a filter here to make sure that back order is one of the tags on the customer and that the email is not empty. And then we pop into this action here and it's, you're picking a list here. Now, when you first load the workflow, it's going to show the list like that, or rather when you reload this page, it's going to show the ID, but when you're picking it, it'll show you a list of your, a list of your uh, lists in there. But then once you, once you save that and refresh it, it's going to show it as the ID number. It looks like currently. Yes. That's why that's showing that ID number. And then we've got the email here and you can set the phone number in there if you wanted to. And here's where you're setting the subscribe consent for email marketing. And then the SMS marketing you can set here. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's run a test. Yeah. In this case, I just have a test phone number for this customer. So if you aren't doing SMS, you can leave that blank, even though it says required, you can leave that blank and let's remove the phone number. And let's run it again. And there you go. That went through there that time. You can see some of these uh, workflow templates related to Clavio here uh, on the site, getmason.com slash solutions. And if you'd like any help setting those up, feel free to reach out.